Hello friends and my dear students, hope you are safe and healthy at your places. So in the series of industrial engineering work study, we are studying the techniques of industrial engineering in which we are started with the different techniques and their advantages. Okay. And myself, Subham Avasthi, I am working in the engineering college, government engineering college, Bhanswada, Rajasthan as assistant professor. Okay. So let's quickly recap what we have studied in the last sessions that we have studied the definition of the work study. We have studied the significance of productivity and we have studied the advantages of work study. So now in this session, our objective is that at the end of the class, all the students shall understand the objective of the method study clearly. Then what is the scope of the method study and mainly what is the method study procedure in brief okay that we will try to cover in this session okay so let's get it started as you know that method study is originally coined as a motion study by its founder frank b gilbert okay who is one of the prominent uh, person who have done various research related to the thorough lakes related to the method study and work measurement and all okay so gilbert defined the motion study or method study as the science of eliminating wastefulness resulting from ill-directed and inefficient motions means whatever the best either in the form of any process or in the form of any motion that in efficient motions and wasteful uh, ways of doing any practice should be eliminated and that elimination science or the elimination procedure is called as motion study or method study. Now the objective of the method study are improvement of the processes and procedures, then improvement in the design of plant and equipment, then improvement of plant layout. Okay, Plant layout will also be improved. Then improvement in the use of man material and machine means how you are utilizing the manpower materials and machines that will also be improved. If you are just eliminating the best materials, best pro steps for the particular manufacturing operations, then the movement or the movement inside and outside the working hours okay of the man or manual labors efficient materials handling okay what is the efficient material handling methods okay now improvement in the flow of production and processes economy in human effort and reduction of unnecessary fatigue because it will also increase the efficiency or efficacy of any human manual labor method standardization because you are just observing the method uh, which is uh, previously used and you are just adopting some standard techniques for such operations. Improvement in the safety standards because you are maintaining the all safety standards very properly so definitely it will increase the safety as well as harmful to the manual labor that will also be decreased. Development of better physical working environment definitely it will be safer as well as better way to work in this particular system. Okay. Now, what is the scope of the method study? Basically, the areas to which uh, method study can be applied in the manufacturing are like to improve work methods and procedures. There are various work methods and procedures which you can improve. Okay, then you can uh, determine the best sequence of doing work. Suppose uh, you are just doing drilling, then milling, then uh, lathe operations. And similarly, if such operation means for any kind of uh, work in your production system that may be reversed or that may be changed okay so you can fix that best sequence for your operations that will be a scope for applying this method or motion study now smoothen the material flow with minimum of backtracking and improved layout okay means you should not uh, go to the same place for the uh, different materials means like uh, if you are just retracing your path like similarly if you went to from place A to B, then again you are going back to B to A for the same material. Instead of that, you can also carry the same material for the same time or just keeping all the required material nearby to your places in your hand position so that you can pick up and start your operations. So in this way also, you are improving the plant layout as well as the backtracking will be reduced. Okay. Now. Uh, to improve the working condition and hence to improve the labor efficiency. It will also improve the labor or manual power efficiency in working environment for the labor that will also be increased. 
and it will reduce the monotony in workers means monotony means workers who are working in a same path means they will create some change so that they should also be more efficient if we are just breaking that monotony okay means instead of just coming here and just doing their own uh, their own work in the same fashion they are doing since last 10 years so that will be a kind of monotony and chances of wastage or chances of degrade in the quality is more in the monotony so that will also be reduced you can improve the plant utilization and material utilization okay it will also improve the plant utilization material utilization and i will say manual power utilization so in these way these are few scopes or the working areas in which you can apply then elimination of waste and unproductive operations means whatever the unproductive operations or waste materials are there that will be eliminated from the system okay and to reduce the manufacturing cost through reducing cycle time of operation means it will also reduce the manufacturing cost and ultimately increase the profit of the that production system or organization just by reducing the cycle time of operation means whatever operations you are applying for production system that will be reduced okay that time period will be reduced and ultimately you are reducing the manufacturing cost which will ultimately lead you to get more profit from that particular product manufacturing or particular service delivery okay now this is the method study procedure this we will discuss in the next session in detail what do you understand by this particular term okay and what are these uh, operations or what are the specific procedure which you have to follow if you are implementing the method study in your uh, production system either it is for the production system of any goods or any uh, services okay we are providing some kind of services that we have seen in the previous sessions okay thank you so much for your patience hearing if you like this content just hit the like button and do subscribe engineering college baswada youtube channel for more such updates about different branches of engineering like mechanical electrical civil and computer science engineering thank you so much for your patience hearing